Hooya! This is Robin from Herniated Disc Bootcamp and today's question is how long does it take for herniated disc to reabsorb? How long does it take for herniated disc to reabsorb? Okay, and if you don't know what reabsorb is, it's basically what we're saying is that is there a possibility that the disc that has cracked open uh, and the fluid has, that has run out, can that stuff like just jump back into the disc again and uh, your, your disc will have the same thickness and it will be whole again and then that's not possible okay um, what happens is that the fluid that has run out from the disc that looks more or less like toothpaste okay and the body that you have our wonderful body has a system to actually absorb that fluid to take that away from the area uh, around the herniated disc uh, so it won't press on the nerve root. This can take time guys, it can take like six to eight weeks, three months, up, even up to three years you know that you gradually become better okay so what happens is that the body will reabsorb um, the, the, the leakage okay but it won't go back into the disc so if you're if you're born with a disc that is that thick, okay, after a herniated disc, it will definitely shrink, okay, and that in part can increase your pain uh, because meaning if you have a disc that is not as thick, it also makes less room for your uh, your nerves, and it increases the possibility to have pressure on your your nerve roots, okay. So I hope. You understood what I was saying there, okay? So there's definitely a possibility to get away all the fluid that runs out, okay? But it's not going back into the disc. It's going out in, in your body. It's uh, the body that has this extra system that just helps transport extra fluid in our body. Huh? <laughs> okay, guys, that's today's tip. And guys, remember, just one step away from healing your back pain.